Hello, mates. Mel McElroy here, star of Stage and Screen. You know, chances are you've had it up to here with all the ruse in your neighbourhood, right? We all know marsupials are cute in a zoo or bouncing around the outback, but when they hang around your house, mess up your front yard with their droppings or punch out your kids, you'll no doubt be joining the millions of Americans who want to protect themselves against this menace by buying real away. <laughs> Whether you live in New York, Milwaukee, or Los Angeles, a couple of shots of real way out your back, <coughs> back door, and believe you me, the ruse will stay away. How does real way work? Well, if you haven't seen any ruse, Chances are someone in your neighborhood is already using Rue Away. But don't leave them to handle the job alone. Take it from me, Mel McElroy, a maid whose country was overrun with rabbits at one time. Act now before the only way to do the job is a bloody massacre. <laughs> left, do I go up left or right? No, Mel, Mel, you go right. I think it's left. Mel, this isn't gonna cut. Not gonna cut. I've done three movies, I know what bloody cuts. Cut! Tired of ordinary television? Don't touch that dial. SCTV is now on the air. Starring Joe Flaherty. Eugene Levy. Andrea Martin. Martin Short. And Dave Thomas. Television like you've never seen it before. This is the SCTV Television Network. Count Floyd, dear kids, reminding you to stay tuned to Monster Chiller Horror Theater. This season, because we have some special surprises. That's right. Ooh, we got some scary movies for you. And you know what? I'm going to have some co-hosts on the show. That's right. The ratings have been slipping gradually, and the count is going to goose them up a bit with some fine guests. And I got one of them for you right now. Yeah, he's real scary. I want you to say hello to the Pittsburgh Midget. <laughs> how you doing, Count Floyd? How's it going? Hey, Steve, how are you? Uh, pretty good. What do you got there, Steve? Movies? I got the movie for this week, Count Floyd. Ooh, we got a scary movie for you. <laughs> it's real scary, Floyd. Steve, uh, where are you from? Pittsburgh? I'm from Pittsburgh, Count Floyd. And uh, things ain't too good there these days. What's happening? Well, uh, you know, the Steelers got knocked out of the playoffs again, bummed everybody out. <laughs> and then the other day, I'm coming out of Jenkins Arcade. I see this cop car pursuing this guy down the street. Chasing him up the Bryan's Hill Road, chasing him in the house. Guy puts a whole bunch of contraband down the toilet. Flushes it right down to come out. That's what he did, Floyd. Oh, boy. Well, look, Steve. Look, uh, what uh, movies are we going to show this week on Monster Killer Horror Theater? I got a real scary one, Floyd. This is called, uh, this is Modern Problems, Floyd, with Chevy Chase. Mo modern Problems? Yeah, it, it's, it's real scary, Floyd. What happened to uh, Mars Needs Women? That's the one we were supposed to show. I got held up at the customs house. What do you mean, the customs house? Where did well, it come from? Guatemala, Count Floyd. They, they, it's a big hit down there and it got held up. But you're going to like it. It's, it. Chevy Chase gets all kind of problems he's got, Count Floyd. That's so... Oh, Chevy's going to have a lot of problems in this one. Oh, I'll tell you one thing, kids. If you want to watch this, you're going to need your 3D glasses. That's right. Oh, and you know where to get them, don't you? They're real cheap. And S Steve, where did they... Count Floyd didn't get those glasses in my automotive house on... Penn Hills, Frankstown Boulevard. Ooh. $5.95. $5.95. You can't go wrong. 3D glasses. Ho oh, ho. And uh, we got the um, modern problems, eh? That's the only one we got, Floyd. Nothing else? That's the one this week. We got a Pink Panther cartoon if you want to see that. Oh, forget it, you little cheap. All right, modern problems. Ooh, Chevy Chase. That guy's scary. His. That, you know, with the, with the studios saw the receipts from that film, they really got scared, didn't they? <laughs> I'm about as scared as the record company got when your album got released, Count Floyd. All right, <laughs> shut up, you cheap little... All right, this week on Monster Chiller Horror Theater, Modern Problems and the Pittsburgh Midget. Oh! <laughs> what are you doing, Don't <laughs> so fight me, you little... You're playing out of line. Get up! Look, I don't care if the guy is a poofter. 
Buy him out, give him 10 million bucks, and make sure you get the document signed. Hello? I'm Mel McElroy, star of Stage and Screen and Self Made Millionaire. You know, every day Americans come to me and say, How did you do it, Mel? How did you become the tremendous success that you are? Is it just because you're Australian, or is there indeed some personal magic? Well, no doubt being Australian has something to do with it. I mean, we walked away with the America Cup. Our movies are American box office smashes, and our products, like Railway right here, are taking America by storm. But that's not why I made it to the top of the heap. If you want to model yourself after me, buy my book, Self Made Mel. It's only 120 pages long, same length as a movie script. And in it, I outline some innovative ways to save time so that you have more time for work. Here's an example, right here on page 53. I deal with personal hygiene and the time that can be saved by bathing, shaving and changing clothes only on weekends. This is part of Mel's magic. Time saved is money earned. And also here on page 79, I discuss how you can find petrol when all the garage pumps in your neighborhood are dry. Let's not forget that Jerry's buried a lot of petrol all over the world in the last war. And if you know where to find it, well look, I don't want to give the whole book away. Don't be a wanker. Buy the book, Self-Made Mel. Pick up a copy. It made me a millionaire. And even if you don't have my natural luck and uncanny Australian savvy, you should be able to bag a couple extra bucks after reading it. Not off an hour. Now available in America. SCTV. We got it all. The best in daytime programming. Yes, we've got it all. Hard-hitting investigative reports by... Troy Soren and Joel White. Straight talk on the issues that affect us all. Oh, and when it comes oh, to news, oh, we've got the professionals. Oh. Boyd Robertson. <laughs> and Earl Cannonbear. Yes, we've got it all. The biggest names in show business in our own variety specials. Mounted with all the glitz and glamour of a Las Vegas review. We've got it all on SCTV. Be there. The ladies, the ladies, how they do keep you up. Oh, coffee, coffee, coffee. The kid needs coffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What are we doing here today, Mark? Oh, I've, I put together a rough cut for you, starting with the Atlantic City footage leading up to the free concert itself. Oh, uh, trippy. Jackie likes. <laughs> Well, may we proceed, Mark? She needs me, but she doesn't show it. Why should she when she does not know it? Yesterday she loved me hard. Mr. Primrose. F. Lee Bailey again. In regards to our previous phone conversation regarding Jackie Rogers Jr.'s free outdoor concert on your Chinchilla Ranch, I'm sitting here with Mr. Rogers Jr.'s manager. I'll put him on the speakerphone and you two can work out the details. Hello, Zale. Mel McElroy here of McElroy, Goolagong, and Billy Boyle. We're Jackie's new Australian representation and uh, we're tied into a large promotion that will take place at the America's Cup in Perth and Jackie is very much a part of that show. Rubbish. Now, as part of our deal with Jackie, we would very much like to do this concert on your property. Unfortunately, uh, Lee, these are beautiful boots. Thank you. Unfortunately, Zale, uh, we don't have any money. Well, then I don't see how we can do it. Well, here's where a little bit of Australian savvy might just solve your problem for you. You see, the way I see it, if we're there, we'll be able to provide security for you and your chinchillas. If we are not there, we will not be able to provide any security. Now, the kids are going to come either way. And if Jackie doesn't show up, they'll tear your place apart and turn it into a rubble that's like the Australian outback. Damn you. Agreed. Good. Have you got a pen? Write this down. Uh, I, Zale Primrose, uh, do... 
do hereby grant uh, exclusively the right to my property to McElroy, Goolagong and Billy Boyle. I wandered toward a child of love who was hitching toward Primrose Ranch where I said there was a happening, happening there, man. Nom, nom, nom. He found the brothers yelping freedom uh, and the ladies doing fine. Check those foxy ladies, Mark. By the prime. <laughs> This is Ted Healy, WPGM Concert Weekend, with a live update from Primrose Farm, the site of tonight's free concert by Jackie Rogers Jr. Where there is one note of controversy, it seems that Jackie's manager, Mel McElroy, has decided to forego the usual security measures and hire a local chapter of the Shriners to keep the peace at the concert. <laughs> Magic, love filled magic. Oh, Jackie's been oh. hit! <laughs> Don't hurt the dude, man. He know not what he do, Dick. <laughs> people, people, just remember this event, as it were, is about three basic things. Music, good weed, and some heavy-duty balling. <laughs> <laughs> We're on in five minutes, Jackie. What's the scene like out there, Don? Oh, well, we had to cut the opening act short. What's the problem, man? Some Shriners, man. It's getting real ugly out there. Uh... Say hello to the nice people. Hello, nice people. Oh, they are very loud. Yes, they are very loud. I would like to give you a kiss. <laughs> you would like to give me a kiss? Oh, it's very nice. All right. Okay, let's search my footstool. Wait a minute, what are you talking about? Just go. I'm senior white, you can't do that thing. Aggressive bastard. Okay, man, it's all about to happen. Here he is, Jackie Rogers Jr. Right here. Now, Laura, ha. Exciting and new. Come aboard, Dama. We're expecting you. The sweetest reward. Let it float. And it floats for you. On the People, people, who's fighting? What for, man? Hey, you, Shriner there. Grand High Mystic Exalted Ruler, dude. You shouldn't have grabbed my tassel. When you grab a Shriner's tassel, you're asking for trouble. Come on, people, let's not relinquish the love. Love. Exciting and new. Swing aboard! While I grab the crew on the love boat, the love boat. Brothers, sisters, this evening is supposed to be about heavy duty balling. It's turning into a succession of bombers. All right, love children, Shriners alike. This concert is null and void, Jack. I want everyone to leave the Primrose Ranch as of now. Get him, man! He's messed with our heads! No, 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 We will return to Gimme Jackie following these messages.
It's sheep shearing time again, and Americans all across this great land are wondering, what's the best way to get my wool to market before the distributors close their bidding for the season? Hello, I'm Mel McElroy, star of stage and screen. You know, when it comes to moving wool at high speeds across the outback, nobody does it better than the Aussies. Perhaps it's their uncanny Australian savvy or their natural courage, or maybe it's their love of souped-up high-powered vehicles. Whatever the case, we've become leaders in the field of sheep and wool. And these qualities have made us leaders in other fields as well. So if you've got a problem, no matter what your field of endeavor, no matter what your problem, don't be afraid to take a little tip or two from down under. Think Aussie. Might be able to save you some time. Man at Work. My favorite band. Bloody marvelous stuff, isn't it? This is Ted Healy from WPGM Concert Weekend. Jackie Rogers Jr. has been hospitalized after last night's concert fiasco. Word from the district attorney's office is that Rogers will be indicted for conspiracy to incite a riot. <laughs> nice going, Jackie. Jackie, F. Lee Bailey here. Listen, if we're going to head off this indictment, we've got to take the initiative. We've got to prove your innocence beyond a shadow of a doubt. I trust you, Lee. What do you have in mind, man? Lie detector with renowned criminal lawyer F. Lee Bailey. Tonight, did Jackie Rogers Jr. incite a riot at Primrose Ranch? The law assumes you're innocent until proven guilty. Unfortunately, the press sometimes assumes the reverse. Such is the case with our next guest, Mr. Jackie Rogers Jr. <laughs> Thank you, F. Lee, for those very, very kind words. You know, in my business, or in our business, when one hears a catchy melody like the lie detector theme and realizes that that melody, in fact, has no lyrics, Dig, one does not just sit back and enjoy. One phones a very close friend like Sammy Conn and says, Sammy, man, we need some lyrics. Five minutes later, truth, he phones back with our gift to you, F. Lee. Son, man. Bossa Nova, baby, really got me going. It's a Bossa Nova, baby, here tonight. Bossa Nova, baby, really got me ballin'. It's a Bossa Nova, baby, here today. Bossa Nova, baby! <laughs> we just came up with it. Is your name Jackie Rogers, Jr.? Si, senor. <laughs> Just answer yes or no, Jackie. This is serious. Is your name Jackie Rogers, Jr.? Yes, Effley. You know it is. Did you have any ulterior motive for staging the concert at Primrose Ranch? Absolutely not. <laughs> for the last time, if it wasn't music, what was your motive for staging the concert? Well, possibly the desire to ball some ladies. Good. At last, a truthful answer. Now we're getting somewhere. This balling, as you refer to it, is this an obsession with you? <laughs> well, Effie, <laughs> you have to understand, I suppose I ball as much as any singer on the road. Now, I want the truth, Jackie. Are you or are you not a virgin? Yes! Yes, I am a virgin. Mr. F. Lee Bailey. I staged the whole damn concert. Just so I'd become a hero in the eyes of the young and possibly meet some eligible ladies. <laughs> does that make me a criminal? Well, does it? <laughs> Turn it off, Mark. I can see no more, man. Mark. Who 
Who was it who said, life is made to live just once, not to relive through video? I can't remember. Hello, mate. Mel McElroy here, star of stage and screen. You know, the Mel McElroy Film Festival is coming your way this month on SCTV. And frankly, I think it's the best six straight hours of movie entertainment going. Do yourselves a favor, try to catch it. Here are a few exciting scenes to wet your whistle. Look, mate, we're interceptors. If we're gonna catch this Knight Rider, we're gonna need all our natural Australian savvy, as much courage as we can muster, and then, of course, a dash of luck never hurt nobody. Nice going, Mel. Damn, that makes me mad. It's the fifth one you quacked not this week. Quack. Oh, yeah, you can say that again. Quack. Quack, 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 quack. Don't be a wanker. Let's find the damage report. <laughs> if you're going to get that petrol in the bus and out of the dump, you're going to need more than luck. You're going to need all your uncanny Australian savvy, some courage, a little bit of this wouldn't hurt. It's real way. Canned marsupial farts. Disgusting stuff, innit? <laughs> well, it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful sunrise. Oh well, cheer up. We stuck to our convictions, so we had courage. And there were no flies on us, so we had savvy. No, I think where we blew it, mates, was luck. We just plain had bad luck. <laughs> Mel, we're back. I love that film. Join me anyway, will you, for the Mel McElroy Film Festival, coming your way this month on SCTV. By the way, that last film, Breaker McElroy, was uh, low budget and uh, lit only with car lights. So I'm not apologizing, I'm very proud of it. Anyway, I hope you join me. What way do I go off, left, left. or right? My left or stage left? Camera left, Mel. Camera left. <laughs> 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 